What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the build. Okay, today's video is all going to be about getting the wiring harness installed and getting the intake elbow machined, fixed, and back on and installed onto the car. That's what today's video is going to be about. Um, I'm. This is from the future, so it's already installed on the car, but I, um, while I was editing it, I found out there was no intro, so <laughs> this is the intro, so if you're new to the channel, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I appreciate it a ton. So thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get right into it. What's up everybody, we're back. So we're gonna get the engine harness ready, or the fuel injector harness ready to go, and hook it up, and make sure that's all ready to rock and roll. But I'm gonna clean it up because it looks disgusting, so look how disgusting. So as you can tell, it's just not clean, it's dirty. I even have some more tubing just in case I wanna change some stuff, so I might do that. So we're gonna clean this thing all up, and then get ready to put it on the car so it can kind of match. Look at my breather, it came out really good. So, and then we're still waiting on the bolt to make sure that thing is, or we're not waiting, we're just gonna go get it later. So when um, the machine shop calls me and tells me the elbow is done, I'm gonna go down to Home Depot, get that bolt, get the elbow, and that'll be it. So we're gonna get this thing started up in a couple days, but that'll be in the next video, so make sure to watch it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get that thing cleaned up real quick and let's get her done. Alright, so we got it cleaned up and I'm gonna slap it on the car right now. So if you saw me messing with one of the wires, this one with the green dot especially, is I saw some exposed wire on going to the injector port, whatever, injector clip. So I um I took some of the tape off and then rewrapped it with electrical tape and then rewrapped the whole thing with electrical tape. And then I put the green dot so I can check it to make sure it's getting um current after I put it on the car and before I start the car up, I'll just do a little check and make sure it's getting current. Just to make sure because I, you know what? It's 30 year old harness. It's actually 35 year old harness, 34 year old harness. And it's bound to happen. That's why the Holly Terminator X, it was the way to go. I just, I've been, I was looking at this. I've been looking at the Mega Square for a long time. Like since I was like 16, I've been looking at the Mega Square and that was, awesome when I was 16 but it has gotten a lot better in the last 10 years so here we are and whatever so I got the mega squirt I should have got the terminator because it replaces all this and this is crap I mean this whole thing is just I mean it's not crap it's just it's deteriorated so whatever but terminator x I love holly holly is my new favorite thing ever so but whatever it'll do for now so we're gonna get this on the car and then go from there and then I'll show you what each plug goes to what so you can know what I'm talking about.
recorded a whole video without sound oh my goodness I could slap myself right now I, you know I put the time-lapse on for you guys and I turned the video or the audio off because it just takes up more memory on my phone and I don't have a lot of it to begin with so sometimes I forget to turn it back on and that was a bummer um, but here this is what I got done I got the harness on and it's kind of messy now it's actually really messy now and I don't necessarily I'm not digging that part of it but it is what it is and it's the best I could do so I'm gonna put a link on the paper or I'll put a diagram on the screen of what I'm talking about and what I'm talking about so we're gonna start at the front or the passenger front of the harness and then work our way back and around to the other side and I'll tell you each plug what they do and how they do it well kinda sorta so let's get into it so starting at the front we're gonna start with this plug that goes into your EGR tube, the, the two heater tubes, and so usually the two heater tubes run from here and go back that way, but I wasn't able to use mine, so this is what it is. So here's the EGR plug and sensor, and so I put it right there into the manifold, and that worked out really well. Then we have this guy that goes to your charcoal canister. It's kind of hidden away because I'm not using it but that goes to your charcoal canister and I wrapped it up with electrical tape and hid it away because I just I don't want to cut up my harness right now I just I feel weird doing it I'd rather have some plugs that look kind of stupid around the engine bay than have it cut out just in case for whatever reason if I ever needed it so that's that and so now we have our injectors so injector number one two three and four and that's pretty simple and so then we have this and it's to your idle air control and you can tell the relay I was trying to clean it up but the plastic started melting away so I, I stopped but it came out a little bit better it just looked kind of chunky um, but so yeah this goes to your idle air control and that usually sits right there on the throttle body but since I don't have mine right now I just gotta deal with it so then we'll move back a little bit more and this is your TPS and you can kind of see it starts back there and it wraps up and around and even has a plug for it but this throttle position sensor and it sits on top of your throttle body but we don't need that or I need that I definitely need that but it uh, I don't have the throttle body right now so we're gonna wait to put this on alright and then the last thing back here is this which I don't need again because it is a smog sensor and it is on top of your your spacer so your EGR spacer with the EGR passages through it this connects to it and so since I don't have that I'm just eliminating it and so that's what that is all right and then back here you have your salt and check salt and pepper shakers is what they call them but it's your main plugins to the main harness so here's the gray one and it plugs in and it comes off of the main harness here's the black one and I don't know how I'm gonna mount this just yet it's just it's hanging right there because I'm going to need space to adjust the fuel pressure regulator later, but that's what they are and that's what they do. And then so there's one wire that comes off the side of the gray plug and that wraps up and around and it's a ground. And so I grounded it and you're supposed to ground it to the driver's side head. And I don't think you can really see it, but it does wrap up and around and it grounds to the back of the head. And that's how that grounds. So then moving on to the driver's side we have wow you can't see nothing okay wow you really can't see nothing okay 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 it's a little bit better so this is your injector number five number six seven and eight so then you have a wire that comes off the harness and drops down goes to your sending unit so you can see it plugged in right there and that's what that part of the wire and it's an orange wire and that's what it connects to all right so moving back 
you'll have another wire inside here and it's a red wire and it connects to your coolant sensor but since my coolant gauge is broken I have a makeshift one and I just taped it to the orange wire tubing just so it was out of the way and then when I finally fix everything and hook it back up it'll work fine so my coolant sensor is right there hiding can't really see it it's underneath wow it's right there <laughs> that was rough okay so then moving back again I got my intake air temperature sensor and it's a white plug and that is gonna go right here somewhere inside the intake elbow, but that's that. And so that is all the plugs for your harness and that's all that I plugged in just now. So it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it so far and it just looks messy. It looks really messy. And I'm gonna put this back cause I don't want that open. Oh, and if you see this other wire, this is to the distributor and I just ran it already. So this wire comes off the main harness and it wraps down and then goes to your distributor but since I'm I have to wait to put the distributor in till later I'm just gonna wait to do that and so the next thing that I'm going to do is that look how that's supposed to be blue it's supposed to be bright blue so I'm gonna clean this up real quick with k and power clean and then go from there and so cleaning the air filter is like the last thing I got to do before I can just bolt everything together and then start priming the engine doing that all that good stuff so I can get it started. So I'm just waiting on that intake elbow and it should be done really soon. But I'm gonna get that air intake cleaned up and then um, I'll update you guys and see where we're at. All right, so I got a lot done. I didn't record any of it, but it was kind of boring stuff. It wasn't like very uh, intriguing or very interesting. So how about that? So I got the air intake cleaned, check it out. So I got my cleaner you remember how dirty that thing was it was disgusting so at least now it's blue and it's all clean and good ready to rock I washed all of the piping for the cold air intake and I know I didn't go with a power pipe because this is only gonna be on here for like a month or two probably two months and then it goes away so then I got my reducer my vibrant reducer coupler three inch to four inch because all my turbo piping is three inch and my throttle body is four inch so I got that done too and I slapped it on there just to see what it looks like and it looks awesome then in the engine bay there wasn't a lot to do okay so i got that thing on that covers up all that nasty solenoid stuff i tightened down all the solenoid stuff so i look good um there's still some vacuum lines that need to be ran i hooked up the ac i don't know if you guys saw that already and i put the two breathers in just to do it and everything is hooked up so that was really good, that worked out well. And then if you've been following the build for a long time, you'd know that the inside of my car is kind of tore up because the Mega Squirt's laying on the ground and this, that, and the other. I put the Mega Squirt back in and I tidied it all up because I feel confident. But while I was doing that, my fuel or my, my uh, wide band fell out of the 26 pin connector. So that was lame. So I undid it and I made sure that, or that the lead to the wide band would never fall out of that connector again on my mega squirt but I put that all away and the inside of the car looks brand new so there it is it's dark I wish I could show you better but it's all put back together so the inside of the car looks perfect again that came out good too all right so I got the inside of the car done and then I was just curious because I kind of forgot if I had gas in it or not and I was hoping there wasn't any because I want new gas for the new engine, obviously. So there's no gas. So I gotta go get gas tomorrow and then I'll get my bolt for the, for the valve cover and then hopefully the elbow will be done and then I can end this video because that'll be everything I gotta do and then it'll be ready to start. So yeah, we're waiting for the elbow, guys. And then that's gonna be the last thing we gotta do and we can get this thing started. That's gonna be crazy. It's, uh, for the startup video that you're gonna see, it's gonna be like a party at my house. I swear, I put this picture on Instagram of just the fuel rails and stuff and like 20 people hit me up. Hey, can I come over? Hey, what you, you starting, the, starting the Mustang up? Oh, can I come back? Oh, you starting the Mustang. I mean, everybody around my neighborhood's been seeing me work on this thing for like months now. So, it, yeah, it might be like a party. <laughs> you're gonna see a bunch of dudes hanging out and then none of them doing any work but watching and I'll be <laughs> but it should be a good video it's gonna be fun I'm pretty uh, nervous and excited but we're here it took only what two and a half three months it took a while <laughs> but we're finally here and um, I can't wait so we're almost there and I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully with the elbow if not whatever so I'll see you guys tomorrow all right so we're back it's the next day and the machine shot got me my elbow back and 
Unforeseen, well, you know what? I thought about it last night, but I just thought it would be fine. So, you know, I measured everything off of the fuel rails being at the original spacer height because that's what I thought, that's where I thought the fuel rails were gonna be. So, that's where my clearances were. That's what I thought they were gonna be. And come to find out, remember the fuel rails went up another inch. So that put it right in the way of, with the throttle cable bracket, the, um, what's it called? The cruise control bracket is right in the way. Or it just hits the fuel rail just barely. And I'll give you a, a visual in a second, but so I have two options. I can either raise or put another carb spacer on the intake elbow and bring it up and then it misses the fuel rail completely. Or I can just take the cruise control off for now, or I can just take the bracket for the cruise control off and it fits. So let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. So you see down in there, I took the cruise control off and it, it fits. Well, it all fits right now. So there's about an inch of room in there, give or take a little bit. Here's the bracket for the cruise control. See how big it is? It's a lot bigger than I think it needs to be for one. So if I can either like figure out a way to change it up a little bit, I can keep it. Or if I raise the manifold up a little bit, I can keep it. Or if I get a spacer for here and push it out another half inch, I can keep it. Those are the things I can do. And I just had a half inch spacer for that. And if I would have put that thing on there, I wouldn't have to uh, ground the manifold or the elbow and I wouldn't have had to mess with this. And that's just so stupid. I hate that I just did that, but it's in the past. I'm not gonna think about it. I thought it in the back of my head. Maybe I should keep that thing just in case something doesn't work out. And I sent it back. I just got rid of it because I was like, no, it's gonna work. So whatever, you live and you learn, I guess. Um, so, but then the only bad part about that is, is it puts that um, 90 degree pipe right next to the, the shock tower. And so that's not, it's, it's really annoying actually. And so actually when I get the turbo, um, I can fabricate something to make that work. So I might just put that half inch spacer on there, call it a day and um, make the turbo pipe work. So I think that's gonna be the plan once that happens. But for now, I think I'm just gonna take the cruise control off and hide it somewhere. And then when I'm ready to put it back on, cause I really don't wanna run that extra half inch spacer. Cause then I can't put my hood on. I can't do all this stuff. So. That's gonna be the goal for, or that's what happened. So, and on the other note, I was able to get my bolts for the valve cover. They were super easy to find and I got grade eight. So it's not snapping. It's definitely not snapping. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get that put on. I'm gonna check underneath there to make sure everything looks fat and happy. And then we're gonna torque the valve cover down and put everything back together. So let's get to it. Okay, so I got a lot of it together. It's we're in the home stretch. So, like you saw in the time lapse, I was I got the elbow on, I got the the throttle body on, I got everything on that could have been on. The only thing is, like I said, the cruise control, and that's that'll happen later. So everything's bolted up. I just got to put the filter on the air intake, and then oh, and then run these two vacuum lines to the fuel pressure regulator and to the, my map sensor. So I'm gonna get that done. And then there's one thing that I wanna do because I was looking at it and I didn't like it. So here, 
so there's two wires. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Okay, there's two wires down there. One's my wide band. It's right in there. There's two wires that run down there, and they get pretty close to the collector. They're probably like three inches away, which is it's too close for comfort for me. So I'm gonna wrap some heat wrap around them. I got this DEI heat wrap. So I'm gonna wrap that around those two wires. One is for the O2 sensor, and one is for my wide band. So I'm just gonna get this on real quick, and I'll sleep better at night. So, oh, and you saw I got the valve cover off. I put the new bolt in, and I think I found out what I did wrong, because it was my fault. So when I went to torque it, it was tightened down pretty far, and it stops at the end. So probably when I went and tightened it, the bolt was still kind of weak, and it hit the bottom of the threads, and it just went clink. So that's what I think happened with the valve cover. And the other part of this is, I'm sorry this video is all over the place. It's just, well, I'm kind of scatterbrained because I'm almost at the end of all this. And yeah, I'm very scatterbrained to be honest. So I think I'm gonna get the vacuum lines run and then I'm gonna get this uh, heat wrap on. And then the air intake and I'm gonna call it. So I'm gonna get that done real quick and I will check back in. All right, it is tidied up, it is buttoned up, it is one step away from getting started. The only thing is priming the oil pump, stabbing the distributor in, and going for it. I didn't put this in the video, but I already loaded the tune for the car in the Mega Squirt, so I've already done that. So it literally is priming the oil pump and going for it. That's that's literally all there is to it. That's To me, that's crazy. I mean, we've gone we've come so far, it's, wow. That's all I gotta say is wow, we have gotten a ton done. So I got, like I said, I got the vacuum lines done and then I got that heat shielding done. And there was one other thing that I did. Oh, and I put the air filter on. So here, look at it. It's like, look at it being done, I guess. So here's both the vacuum lines. Here's the one, here's the second one. They run up and around. One goes to the fuel pressure regulator. One goes to the map sensor or the ECU. And then I plug this bad boy in for the intake air temperature sensor that's all squared away that was all I had to do over here so then I got that heat shielding on you can kind of see it there it is it so it's shielded from the header so that's gonna work out and then I oiled up my air cleaner and put it on even though you can't see it but that is done so when I was messing around with the throttle linkage though I lost a bolt I don't remember if I said this or not and I can't find it and I've been looking for it for so long now I've been can't find it it's gone it's just gone it it, it disappeared <laughs> so I don't I, I'm gonna keep looking but it's like it like literally just disappeared I don't know I almost lost the Allen key too but whatever so sorry this video is all over the place I just was trying to get this thing done and I I got crazy trying to figure it out and just brain is all over the place the next videos will be a lot better than this one so thanks for watching at least but this thing is essentially buttoned up and we're done with this video. So the next video is gonna be starting her up and I can't wait to make that video. So next time you see me, we'll be getting this bad boy started up, broken in and rocking and rolling. I'm excited. Uh, you know, like I'm at that point where I'm like kind of nervous. I'm, I'm extremely nervous and scared, but like so excited at the same time. So I'm just, I'm waiting to get this thing done. So, well. That's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. If you did make it to the end, if you're new, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're not new. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next video.